Right, so still we're some not, coming too. A little bit more. Yeah, okay. we're not quite finished yet. Between now and tomorrow night and your Thursday morning, let's take a look at some of the video here. And our trackers have been out, and uh, this is what we've been dealing with in the city, at least in a few areas. There's a guy in here. I want to point this out. This guy's coming in from left to right here in a minute. There's a guy on a bicycle, and uh, this is from Val and Amy. We were like uh, watching this, and I was like, okay, everything's good, no problems. People are kind of you know going through a little fast. The guy slows down. Let's see if the video comes up here. But anyway. Maybe and where not. is this? Uh, I don't know. What to find out from Val? Okay, Val and Amy. You're asking me way. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there's your guy. There's the guy on the bicycle. Oh no. I uh, know. Well, poor guy. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. He should have been listening to your forecast. He <laughs> would have known. Yeah, I would have said. It was coming. Don't get on a bicycle and drive through water. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go back to Val Castor. Get an update from him. Val, the water has receded there. Give us an update. And uh, for Amanda, what is your exact location? So, David, this is at Northwest 7th and Pennsylvania. Um, and, you know, David, it's been a while since we've had to talk about flooding, but um, we do have an area of standing water here, and it was quite a bit deeper a little bit earlier, even before the guy in the bicycle, even before that incident happened. Uh, it was even deeper than that. Uh, it's deep enough that there was a couple cars that actually uh, got choked out from the water coming in their intake there. But the rain has completely stopped here. And just like you said, the water is receding. Back to you, David. All right, good news there. But uh, the rain certainly was good, and uh, this will not be there in the morning. This will be long gone by then. All right, great job there, Val and Amy. Today in Oklahoma City, and this is just the last couple of hours, 0.57 at Will Rogers. Wow, again, Edmond, yep, Edmond North up into Guthrie, nothing, nada. And there it is. Look at the razor-sharp line between no rain and rain and it went from nothing to an inch to 1.2 in Choctaw to 2.9 south of Wellston and that heaviest band ran from south of Wellston through Chandler and Stroud. That my friends is a great rain for March. That is not, <laughs> that is not and that's what happened. Bridge Creek had three tenths of an inch. You back out just a little bit. Again it was along that I-44 corridor where the heaviest rain fell. Like we talked about this yesterday and Last night, and here we are, and uh, that's what happened. The rain continues running from Tulsa down through the South Metro, but it's shifting south a little bit. So the heaviest rain overnight will be south of Oklahoma City. We're still going to see some showers in the Metro, but right now this first little wave is moving out, raining in Stroud, Meeker, Shawnee, Pink, Seminole, nothing severe. In that box in the last half hour, four or five lightning strikes, a little bit of lightning. We had some small hail earlier. That's now gone. So nice rain running from Norman to Noble to Shawnee to Tecumseh, Meeker, McLeod. Looking good there. And the rain in the East Metro will continue to wind down. We're going to try to bring in a little more rain later tonight and into tomorrow morning. Heaviest rain now south of Blanchard. I want to point out as we get back down here, this is a pretty good sell down here. We've had some Rotation with that, it's not going to produce a tornado. It's not all that crazy, but it is rotating a little bit. That's going to Wichita Falls, and that's going to scoot into southern Oklahoma tonight. So Sulphur, Ardmore, Paul's Valley, you're going to get this. And with that, some small hail and gusty winds. Downtown is still wet. We had nearly an inch of rain, half to three quarters to an inch of rain in Oklahoma City. 42 degrees in the metro, a north wind at 10. Our humidity, 89%. Nice shot from our Lucky Star Skycam network. We have 40s, 50s, and 60s in the southeast, but it's chilly. Oklahoma City West, upper 30s in the far west. It's a light north breeze, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wind chills right now in the 30s, even some 20s in the panhandle. So overnight tonight, watch the rain shift south of Oklahoma City. But I think as we get into later tonight, it tries to build back in into tomorrow morning. So it could be in the morning, nothing in Edmond, nothing in El Reno, while the south metro has rain in the morning. And this next little wave will try to come up a little farther north with more rain across Oklahoma City again. Rainfall amounts, additional rain, north and west metro, not much more. Southern, southeastern Oklahoma, an additional one to two to three inches. So there might be a few little areas to pick up some localized flooding, but uh, nothing too crazy, no crazy severe weather. All right, so overnight, chance of rain, highest south and east of Oklahoma City to the southwest of Oklahoma City, southern Oklahoma. You're gonna have a wet and stormy night. We'll be here watching it. No tornadoes tonight, not that type of a setup. Overnight, might have some small hail, mainly with the storms down south. Lows tonight in the 40s. And here we go tomorrow, upper 40s for highs. Chance of rain tomorrow, still high off and on. This will last into tomorrow night, okay? And then it's out of here pretty much Thursday morning. A little rain around Thursday morning, 
Slight chance for the afternoon. Friday looks good. Your weekend, big warm up Saturday. Slight chance for showers and storms late Saturday. And spring break next week right now looks okay. We'll have to watch Wednesday of next week. Carl, back to you. David,